are better ways to keep cool. Call KS Services and receive a new Bryant unit with no payments and no interest for 18 months. Stay cool now and pay later. Visit callks.com for more. Here's your weather video for this Friday, October 23rd. I'm meteorologist Bill Murray. Final day of uh, James's vacation. So much, ne- much needed rest for our chief this week. It's been my pleasure to sit in this seat and uh, tell you the weather story. And uh, we got a story to tell uh, for this forecast period. Let's start with the upper air pattern across North America. Big trough over the northern tier states there, northern Rockies, northern plains, moving into the Midwest. This system producing lots of wintry weather Today and tomorrow, winter storm watches and warnings from eastern Washington, Idaho, much of Montana, up to 25 inches of snow in the mountains of Montana. Winter is just around the corner, and this fall storm is going to give us a preview of it. Uh, It may be the log jam that breaks this, uh, finally breaks this stubborn ridge of high pressure that's been uh, holding sway over the eastern United States, including Alabama and breaking the back of cold fronts that have been trying to move in here. The next one is lined up this morning near St. Louis. It will um, push southeastward today and tonight and run into that ridge. You can see it here, lined up along the Appalachians. And um, we'll be watching that uh, very closely. That battle there will uh, dictate our sensible weather through the weekend. Here is Hurricane Epsilon. It passed Bermuda about 190 miles east of the island yesterday. Uh, top winds uh, drop back to 85 miles an hour, but uh, probably get a little strength back today as it makes this right turn. And that seems to favor a brief period of intensification. We've seen it plenty this year in the Gulf, and uh, it's going to happen here. But this time, the only folks that will notice it will be the fishes as this system will accelerate to the northeast, passing well southeast of the Canadian Maritimes. Tell the story with the wharf today. Looking in close for the next 36 hours, kind of give you an idea of what you can expect for your weekend. And uh, here's today at noon. Um, Starting off a lot of clouds over Alabama today, some sunshine beginning to break through. It'll bust through that clouds and patchy fog that we're experiencing early this morning. Give us partly sunny conditions, push the mercury up into the lower 80s. And by noon, I think we'll be looking at showers and thunderstorms back in northeast Texas and Arkansas, maybe approaching the Memphis area. But here in Alabama, we'll be mainly dry. Uh, Some four or five hours later, by five o'clock, scattered showers should be developing across much of north and central Alabama. Uh, That won't be a total washout. Could be some thunder mixed in there. Uh, Those showers and thunderstorms that were pushing through Arkansas will be sort of weakening over western Tennessee, northern Mississippi, getting ready to push into Alabama. As you can see, they do that during the evening hours. Doesn't look like widespread rain, doesn't look exceptionally heavy, and certainly not strong, but there will be some uh, showers and maybe a little lightning and thunder during the evening hours, and that could, of course, fall during high school football game time or during UAB's game uh, at Legion Field. But it doesn't look like a washout. It looks like um, you could see a lightning delay or two here or there, but um, mainly just showers. Uh, this evening. Now, moving forward to 3 a.m., the front seems to get a little oomph again. Uh, maybe a round of showers and thunderstorms in the I-59 corridor as that system sort of slows to a crawl and uh, gets ready to spend the night somewhere between uh, Gadsden, Anniston, and Birmingham. By um, Saturday morning, most of that rain is gone. I think we're back into uh, partly sunny to mostly cloudy skies. Temperatures starting off in the 60s, slowly climbing through the 70s, heading for highs near 79 degrees. Later, around 3 o'clock, with that front lying just uh, near I-59, some showers and thunderstorms will develop ahead of it, uh, you know, from eastern Alabama, Chambers, Clay, Randolph counties in the east, down through the Montgomery area, back along I-65. High temperatures again, upper 70s. Now, as we head towards Sunday, well, we probably get through Saturday night mainly dry. Um, Overnight lows in the 60s. Um, Heading towards Sunday, again, I think we get through the day mainly dry and warm. Uh, High temperatures probably in the lower 80s on Sunday. Monday, looking dry again. Lower 80s, quite possible, warm and humid. Now, Tuesday, I think things begin to change. 
the GFS is picking up that, you know, we'll see increased shower activity across Alabama. We'll call for partly sunny conditions, a chance of a shower storm, highs, you know, 78 to 82. And uh, then by Wednesday, the GFS has sort of a new solution. And it's kind of nice to see the log jam getting broken here. That uh, trough over the uh, rocky sort of closes off over eastern Texas. It's able to, uh, into an upper low that's able to spin up a surface low over Louisiana. Very plausible solution. This low moving to the northeast, pulling up moisture, showers and thunderstorms becoming likely by uh, late Wednesday afternoon, Wednesday night, continuing into Thursday morning uh, as that low is tracking into eastern Kentucky. Uh, Cold front pushing through Alabama. Uh, showers and thunderstorms ending from the west by friday the system is all gone we're clearing skies cooler drier and maybe we get a little relief from this uh, recent round of heat not that i'm complaining i've I've enjoyed this last few days of summer that we've had here in october in the middle of fall but you know uh, all good things must come to an end monday uh, november 2nd looks like a quick hitting system moving through and um, giving us a few showers and then, um, and then we look at um, a, a round of showers and storms around Friday, November the 6th. Temperatures off the National Blend of Models shows the warm conditions continuing uh, until that uh, low pressure or frontal system gets moved through here next Wednesday and Thursday. Then we cool off to where we should be for the end of October, early November. Highs around 69 to 70 degrees, overnight lows near 50 uh, the voodoo contribution of the day, GFS, tracking uh, system in the Caribbean, uh, probably will deal with one more tropical system moving through there, a tropical storm or hurricane. This is Thursday, November the 5th, uh, probably moving into Nicaragua or Honduras, uh, most likely staying well away from the Gulf of Mexico, not a problem for us. Remind you to check out Weather Brains, the weekly netcast. It's all about weather. Great show this week. With Mike Farrar and Betsy Kling, another great show coming up this coming Monday night. We'll be talking about lightning. You don't want to miss that. Well, that's your weather video for this Friday, October 23rd. Of course, we're ending our uh, one-a-day weekday schedule today. James will be back Monday. Scott will be here tomorrow. I'll be here Sunday. I have uh, frequent updates on the blog, lots of notes, forecast updates, keeping you uh, apprised of the latest uh, what's going on with our showers and thunderstorms and the the uh, latest information on this uh, frontal system and all the different ways that it's going to play out through this weekend and into next week. But until I see you Sunday morning, as I always tell you, keep an eye to the sky because you'll always have something fun to look at. Never wait for hot water again with a tankless water heater from Plumbing Experts. Tankless water heaters are easy, convenient, and now more affordable with a no-interest financing for up to 18 months. Stop with the cold showers and wasted water and call Plumbing Experts today.